we'll just kick it off with Mama Speaky. Tessa, take it off. Hey guys, thanks hey. for taking the time today. Um, absolutely loved the movie, but I'd love to know what it felt like to kind of dive into like a prequel to the show. Ooh. Guess for all of you. I, I, I keep telling people, I, I felt like uh, most of our characters, I'm sure we all felt this way, but like when you're doing a series, you kind of land on what your character sounds like and who they are and everything like that about halfway through recording. <laughs> uh, so, so for me, it was so cool to go back with all that information now and go back and, and be that full character in a movie. You know, it, it was super cool. Maki is such an interesting arc overall. So it was really interesting getting to meet her in an earlier point in the series where she's even more surly and even more guarded uh, because it's the events of the movie that teach her to be slightly more open and slightly more willing to make friends the way that she is in the movie and the way that she, sorry, in the show and the way she develops those friendships in the show. So it's kind of interesting to, to play that one of the before points. I said rise, fall, and grades. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, no idea. How do you feel about fun. that character arc of, of being able to say rice ball ingredients more in yeah. a movie? It's it's so interesting because like you do have to like express a character arc, but like your line just says you know tuna mayo. Set. Yeah, exactly. So it's <laughs> okay. like okay, we're let's see what meaning we can imbue into this. The salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. I love that Panda's like your official translator, by the way. Like, yeah. I like, I like having that role. <laughs> Tom? I, I love how goofy him and Panda get to be together. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, I love beating up Panda. Fair. Yes, you do. I do that. <laughs> I kick your butt, dude. <laughs> Tom, you're up next. Hi, yeah, kind of piggybacking off what you just said. Xander. I, I, this might be a controversial question. I don't want to cause World War Three on Twitter, but are you a fan of rice balls and sushi? Oh, oh yeah, no. Uh, oh, my my, my oh, partner God. makes like incredible. I don't think I really had rice balls until uh, the my partner like made them for me. I was like, oh my god, because I don't know, I don't know where where do you go to get rice balls? Is there like restaurants for that? Yeah, I mean, just go to um, Little Tokyo, dude. Come on, <laughs> Xander. Oh, uh, well, okay, so imagine I'm an idiot, and then stop imagining. <laughs> That's real life. Okay, uh, okay. okay that, that tracks. That tracks yeah. with what I know about you. Uh, <laughs> Did you cra do you crave rice balls after a recording session? Uh, I do. very personal question, <laughs> sir. I definitely do. <laughs> yeah. I think he was coming on to me. <laughs> I crave rice balls after watching Xander in a session, yes. Yeah, when after watching the movie, I was, like, both crying a little bit, and then I was like, I could really go for sushi right now. Like, <laughs> the crying part is important to know. There was definitely yeah. a lot of crying. <laughs> Daniel? Uh-oh, Daniel, you're muted. Oh, you're muted, you're muted. Hello. Oh. Oh. You were unmuted for a second and then you remuted. There we go. Yay! We did it. We did it. Hey Otherwise, uh, Matt was going to have to like translate for you the entire time. We would have made it work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you guys um, have had experience working on the Jujutsu Kaisen anime, but just like this movie has set box office records in Japan. And what has it kind of been like to see the show's popularity increase since the start of the show and kind of culminate with this movie? It's been crazy. You know, when you, when you start recording something, I mean, we all started around episode four. So we knew people were really excited for the show and we knew that it was doing really well. But then as we continued to record it, it was like, Oh, people really like, oh, people really like this. And it was the, I'm blanking on the, the, the actual proper term for the arc, but the, uh, the, the school battle arc mm -hmm. that uh -huh. was like, it seemed like everything really exploded right around then. And the introduction of like the rest of the students and all of that and their dynamics. And so it was, it's, it's always really cool when that happens. Cause you never know, you could think that a show is really cool and then not actually realize that it's, or not, it, it doesn't do well. And you're like, oh, that's a bummer. And then, uh, and then you something like, like every other show happens. we're in. Yeah, like like a lot of other stuff I'm in. I'm just like, oh, that's really good. Why don't people appreciate it the way it should be appreciated? And then you do get stuff like Jujutsu Kaisen, where it's like 
it is really good and people are super into it. You're like, oh my gosh, this is, I'm so excited. I'm so, I'm so happy we're all sharing this right now. <laughs> Yeah, it's been really interesting for me um, going to conventions as people are getting vaccinated and everything. We're, we're able to go out to more conventions. And for a while, there's a few months where it was like, oh, no one's really asking me about Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, I, I, it's a cool show. I hope, uh, you know, I hope people get into it. And really over the last few months, it's exploded in the sense oh, yeah. that, like, there are lines of people now, like, ready to ask questions, wondering when it's going to go, wondering when season two is going to be out, all that stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's been fun to see that happen in the course of, of you know, going to conventions and, and meeting fans and everything. I did a convention in January, and they're like, so are you doing the movie? And I'm like, I can't talk about that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. And I'd already recorded by then, so I'm just like, I can't say anything. <laughs> uh, who knows? Nice. Xander, do you have any Tino Mayo to contribute? Uh, salmon Row, uh, <laughs> Kelp. Oh, my dog's trying to eat something off the floor. Come here. <laughs> what are you doing? You know not to do that. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, yeah, it's been, uh, you know, I, like Matt said, like, a, without fail, every convention I go to, like, there is just a bunch of people being like, oh, my God, Toge is the best. And, like, I, you know, when we're recording, we're going... We're, we're just doing a job, right? Like, we're in isolation. So, obviously, it's really nice when you get that, like, oh, my God, you like what we do? Really? Thank you. Thank you for enjoying this. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's been really, really lovely. When it's not just me blowing up your DMs, being like, oh, I love Toge. Oh, that meant so much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, after he recorded the movie, Matthew was like, oh, he said it's so good. I was the first person to record, so I didn't hear anyone. I didn't know uh -huh. anyone, any messages. It was great. <laughs> I just got to I just got to get them. I was like, yeah, that's right. I oh did do a good job. If you leave this movie and aren't in love with Maki, you're insane. You're insane. Daw <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good story for her. It's a really good part yeah. of the story. Gig, you're up next. What was uh, your guys' initial reactions when you heard there was going to be a prequel uh, movie? Well, I, we knew the manga existed, that the pre prequel manga existed. So it was like, is are they going to do anything with it? But I, I'm pretty sure I was just like shocked Pikachu when they said they were going to do it. I was like, oh, what? Oh, this is going to be so cool because they announced it like right after, right as the show stopped airing in Japan. Yeah. Like right after episode 24. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we, we knew before we actually finished recording the show that this was going to happen. And so I think, uh, I, I really loved making fun of the, uh, the main trio in the show. It's just like going to Anne and being like, we got the movie. You're, You're not, not in the movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> like this yeah. is our thing. <laughs> Nice, yeah, I mean, they totally. Yeah. Really excited for it. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're yeah, they're super supportive and everything, which is mm -hmm. wonderful. But yeah, I think all three of us probably felt the same way. Way like, oh, we want more of our characters. You know, what what, what was their first year like and all that? And so <laughs> it's really cool to be able like, to... a disaster a little bit. Like... Yeah, yeah, just a little <laughs> bit. Why are they all so jaded in their second year? Oh, here, <laughs> this is why. <laughs> Yeah, I immediately started consulting uh, on who my celebrity replacement was going to be. Um, I was thinking <laughs> George Clooney. Um, right. Which just because, come on, you hear George Clooney say, tell me rice ball ingredients. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I was really glad when they said we were coming back because I was like, oh, my God, like for a live action movie? And they said, no, it's animated. And then I went, oh, uh, that makes way more sense. Yeah. Imagine Xander well, and, giving and, a serious answer. <laughs> well, and to be fair, like you say, George Clooney, but I contacted you know uh, production immediately and said, if you want to replace Xander, I will do the voice. And they they said they said we will keep you in mind. You and George Clooney are at the top of the list, uh, mm -hmm. but con it's contractually, neck yeah, contractually, I feel like they were obligated to to bring you back. You know, yeah. If they were bringing the rest of us back, they were just like, we can't just recast Xander. Yeah. Yeah. So you're welcome. You're Thank welcome. You. They wanted us so much that they were willing to continue working with you. Thank you. I, <laughs> oh, it's too early for this. I feel attacked. <laughs> I love how I said I was going to beat up on Matt, and then now yeah. I'm just beating up on Xander. What the hell, dude? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> this is great. I love this. <laughs> Glad I asked. Thank you. Tessa, we'll bring it back to you. Yeah. So, like, if curses were real and you could kind of have powers from, you know, any anyone in the in the show or the movie, would you? What would you pick? Would you just say ingredients, or what? What would your power be? Ooh. I think Toto's power is having a rock and bod, so I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> That's fair. Um. Oh gosh. Well, I know. I know what I wouldn't pick, which is I would not pick Inumaki's anything because I I have too much to say. If if you told me I could only speak in in rice ball ingredients, I'd go crazy. Like bless him for not going crazy, honestly. <laughs> Just that one time, it's like, okay, son of a... Then everyone dies. Yeah, oh pretty much. Gosh. Pretty much. And with me driving through Los Angeles, there'd be a lot of dead people. <laughs> um, uh, this is going to be totally self-serving, but, like, if I could transform into a giant gorilla and, like, wreck shit, then, you know, I I'm all about that. That's fair. <laughs> so I, 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 Maki has a lot of, like, badass normal stuff, so I know she has a lot of, you know, angst on the subject. But she is really strong and really cool. So honestly, I would probably pick the super strength and super healing. And as we saw in the series itself, I'd, I'd pick to catch a bullet. That was pretty, that was pretty awesome. I'd catch a bullet. <laughs> Tom? Yep. So the pandemic's, well, I hate to jinx it, but the pandemic is essentially over at this point. And there's some level of normality with going to the cinema or theater again. Why should, well, as I say, probably again. Jujutsu Kaisen is probably the first film that the majority of the anime fans can go and see a film in the theatre. So why is it important that people make the effort and travel and go see this on the big screen rather than just wait until it comes out on streaming? Well, our review, so you our know, residual okay. checks, mostly. Right? <laughs> for money. Oh my God. Yeah. Money purposes. No, I mean, I'd, I'd say to just continue showing support for, for the show and for the franchise. <laughs> Um, and especially because, you know, if something does really well in Japan, but it doesn't necessarily do well in the U.S., it, it doesn't necessarily motivate companies to keep wanting to work with us and wanting to localize it. They could have just as easily just done the Japanese release of this movie and said, like, screw you guys. So obviously we're very grateful that we are, you know, we get to continue to to work on it. And I think supporting the film in general and also supporting our work means that we get to continue doing our work and that's important and, and special to us also it's a good story everyone should just go watch it right now yeah let me let me give a better answer okay hang on hang on <laughs> wow so, so one of the things i love about jujitsu kaisen like i was so happy to be a part of it was because it's like dripping with style right um you can you can see it you can see I, I come from an art background like like the hand-drawn effects of like the curses and all that sort of stuff is so mm -hmm. cool and then you go and then you go see this movie, right? Okay. And this movie is like super, super widescreen. They mm. up the frame rate to like smooth 30 frames a second. Uh it's it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's like going, you know, it, it is mean, it I is very yeah. sexy animation. There, there's a you huge know, difference between like watching My Little Pony on on Disney and then and then seeing the My Little Pony movie. Uh, <laughs> I'm referencing that for some reason. Uh, you, have but, uh, you have kids. You have kids. We're not. Uh, yeah. We're not going to judge you. It's, it's the same sort of jump here, where this is a gorgeous animation, but then the movie like ups it to a whole new level. It's it's beautiful. The action scenes are super fluid. Uh, speaking of Maki, just just being amazing in the whole movie. Her stuff when she's like flipping and spinning and all that sort of stuff is super it's smooth, true. super amazing. It's a very cinematic experience. Yeah. Um, so, so that's why you see it in the theater. I'm so, I'm so happy that it's in IMAX too, because like all of that on the huge screen is just going to be amazing. We Matt, saw it. Give we... a worse answer. Um, <laughs> so, Toge's got just some awesome moments in this movie, and he's also he a really sweet boy. So you should go see it because I'd really appreciate it. That'd be. <laughs> If you want to hear, if you want to hear Toge just speak rice ball ingredients and Panda actually explain how sweet of a boy he is throughout the entire movie, it's true. Uh, then, this then that's the what you for you. This is it. Yes. The cinematic experience. Yeah. Hey, hey, let me tell you why this boy's sweet. Aww. Aww. <laughs> let me explain why Maki's not a very nice person. <laughs> <laughs> why well, she has a huge chip on her shoulder.
that's really the dynamic, right? It's like it's you guys are witnessing the real dynamic of those characters. It's like, you know, Maki says something abrasive. Panda says, "Oh, come on, Maki, settle down." And then Toge says something that no one can understand and don't and don't re- you know really understand why he's introducing it into the conversation. Uh, and then and Panda says, "Oh, he's a sweet boy." Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I I so secretly I play it like he's just over your guys' shit every line I get the chance to do. Yeah. Like you guys have this banter and then it's just salmon row, whatever. And it's just like it's salmon row. I'm so sorry you guys are starting your day with us and the three yeah. of us. You could have started you could have started with Lex and KG and you're stuck with Yeah, you the, could be with KG right now. Oh you're stuck gosh. with the peanut gallery over here. <laughs> over in room three. Don't sell yourselves too short, but that's it for today's uh, roundtable. I appreciate you guys all for coming and joining. Thank you all. Such great answers, such great questions. Um, I think that's about it. Um, Thank you, Tessa, Tom, Daniel, and Gig, uh, and obviously Xander, Matthew, Allegra, for your time. Um, And if you have any last, like, little hoorahs, feel free to say them now. (laughs) But Thank you all so much for for coming and, and talking with us. Thank you guys. 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 Thank you gu